It is almost three years since the third June rain hit the city of Accra. Some buildings still carry the scars of the devastating fire that broke out during the rains and swept through the Odona and Circle Enclave. Too, close to 200 people died, with many injured. Long after the rains have stopped, the dead buried and the tears dried up, GBC24 has been to check on the rebuilding process and as this story reveals, it has been very challenging for some. On that fateful day, a fire broke out at a filling station where people had sought shelter from heavy rains that caused widespread flooding. The victims were burned beyond recognition where they stood under the station's awning or trapped and incinerated in the wreckage of vehicles on the station's forecourt. Neighboring buildings were also set ablaze. It's almost three years now, and some of the victims feel unattended to by the government. These houses close to the filling station were all affected. The level of the flood was visible on the building and the mark of the fire on top of it. Some victims say each household was given a student mattress and two bags of sachet water from NADMO. We have been expecting the state, for that matter, Ghana Oil, to, to really come and sit down with us, assess the damage that their fire, or probably their oil, have caused. But till today, as far as the family, SA Kote family is concerned, we've never heard anything, we've never had any meeting with anybody till this very day. This 72-year-old woman, Madame Elizabeth Finn, was not happy that they were neglected. Maybe sir, not more Then to wash her, as I wore you, oh yeah. Dead. I saw her show. Let me be biara. Pin, pin, pin. No, I didn't get anything. Nessie, my dress was maybe she was for mum. Never did not walk there. Me yeah. Nadmo didn't give me anything. I was directed to Mr. Okovandapoy's office just to be told that they were taking care of the dead and the wounded victims. When GBC 24 got to the filling station where the fire broke out, the bent vehicles were still parked there. The chairman of the Odona GPRTU of TUC branch, Mr. Lord Fletcher, said not all the victims have received compensation. I buy promises, I can be sure I'm a plan. But it's in your own say, yeah, yeah, I'm a yeah, 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 People are bitter due to the way the compensation were given. Government would have to do something to make them happy. Mr. Fletcher says for the affected families, the bent vehicles are a reminder of the disaster and called on the government to help move them to save their families from further pain. With the rain setting in, many are worried that the floods will again wreak havoc in some neighborhoods. They complain about improper planning of some settlements, choked gutters, and human factors which block the drainage system. The question some ask is whether as a people and as a city we have learned from the event of that night. The Odo River still needs desilting and so does the Kole Lagoon. Some amount of dredging has taken place since the night of June 3rd 2015, but more dredging must be done to clear the drains and avoid flooding whenever the rains are heavy.